Today, we have an epic battle for you. Our squad of hardcore gamers have extensively tested 19 of the most popular gaming laptops. And today, we're gonna reveal the best laptop for each type of gamer at all different price points. Introducing Taylor, he was previously a game tester of an FPS game you would all know. Introducing Ethan, our RPG expert. Ethan has invested an unhealthy amount of hours in Baldur's Gate 3, and for all those Toxic League players, you've got me, who made it to Diamond 4 playing nothing but Singed. And below this video, you'll find a link to the best deals happening right now on the laptops that we recommend today. In fact, we even have our own coupons to shop at at stores like Lenovo's. You'll find them down there too. We regularly update our list as new deals drop, and we even include new laptops as they are released. With that said, let's start the show. Best gaming laptop, period. If your goal is to get the absolute best possible gaming experience out of a laptop, and you're prepared to pay for it, the laptop you should buy is the Asus ROG Strix Scar 16. It's scored the highest across any gaming laptop that we tested, and it delivered the overall best gaming experience. It has the most powerful components that you can buy inside. Intel's insanely fast HX processor, which by the way, is actually quite efficient for the performance that it delivers. And it can be had with up to an RTX 4090. But it's not the raw performance of this laptop alone that makes it our overall winner. For example, the Alienware X16, which also has an RTX 4080, like our configuration of the SCAR does, actually outperform the SCAR. But what makes the SCAR so special is it solves the number one issue with gaming laptops. You don't feel a lot of heat while gaming and its fan noise is the lowest of any gaming laptop that we tested. And the good news, it doesn't end there. It has the ultimate gaming display. Mini LED, super bright, high refresh rate, advanced Optimus, G-Sync, decent resolution, and no PWM flickering used to lower the brightness. Its keyboard is very comfortable to use, and it has fully upgradable memory, storage, and Wi-Fi. But like all laptops, it isn't perfect. Its battery life is horrendous. We weren't even able to watch an entire movie before it died. And if you are using the laptop in a dark environment, the icons for its secondary function keys don't light up, so you'll need to program them with specific colors to know which is which. Also, its speakers are average. The only issue that might get some people is that the ports are quite far down this laptop. So if you do use a wide gaming mouse, it may get in your way, but you could always just buy a converter and plug it into the other side or a USB hub. We think these trade-offs are worth it for a phenomenal gaming experience. But Often what's important to one gamer is different to another. With that being said, Josh and I really like the Alienware X16, mainly because of its legendary keyboard. It is by far the best we have ever tested. It's a little on the loud side though. Plus, the Alienware is slimmer, which I found way more comfortable as my hands weren't super raised. I like that as well, but what I didn't like is the Alienware's exhaust fans constantly blowing hot air at my mouse hand while I'm trying to game. For me, I didn't have any issue with it, as where I use my mouse is different to Taylor. One other thing that I did want to mention about the SCAR is that even though it feels cooler to the touch than the Alienware, I actually found my palms more sweaty on it because of the material used. But the Alienware's ports are so freaking hard to plug in and out of. They are all around the back, which is normally good, but they aren't individually lit, and the stadium light is blindingly bright, which makes it impossible to see that area at all. Moral of the story, the Strix SCAR delivers the best gaming experience, but check out our analysis sheet down in the description below so you can decide which gaming laptop suits your specific needs, as none of these are perfect. Now, to round out the competitive gaming laptops, Lenovo's top of the line Legion 9i did finish well, and might I add, it's a stunning laptop. It feels super premium and its display is gorgeous, but the gaming experience, it just isn't that great. The main reason is because its keyboard is pushed far forward, resulting in tiny palm rests. Your hand is kind of dangling off the laptop. Plus, its fan noise is also extremely loud while gaming, and it feels very warm to the touch. Lenovo has been marketing this laptop as being liquid cooled, but at the end of the day, it does not pay off at all. And talking about paying off, this laptop normally costs more than the SCAR, so we just can't recommend it. And on laptops that definitely aren't worth buying is the Asus M16. It is expensive and feels very hot while gaming, and its keyboard is less comfortable than these other high-end gaming laptops. We have no idea why this laptop actually exists, when Asus already has the Strix SCAR 16, which is phenomenal. But something I did like about the M16 is this really cool anime matrix lid. It allows you to put text, images, animations on the lid, as you can see here, 
But it also allows you to play mini games, and I'm not really sure why you would play mini games on the laptop lid. It just feels a little bit gimmicky to me. And by the way, we chose not to get in the G16, as it has the same chassis as the older M16, and we hypothesized that it would suffer from the same usability issues, like a hot feeling chassis. And then there is the Razer Blade 16. It's a bulky, heavy laptop that doesn't look stylish. Razer normally produces great looking laptops, but this one has a bloated bottom part. And that doesn't match the overall design aesthetic of the rest of the laptop. It also has very noticeable fan noise, even in light use. It feels distractingly warm to the touch in all use cases, and its keyboard is still dreadful. Laptop reviewers have been complaining about their keyboards for years. It's not my favorite keyboard for gaming. The switches could use some work. I'm not a big fan of the Razer keyboard. They feel very low travel. And the nail in the coffin is this laptop's pricing. It is insanely expensive, and the only thing you're really paying for is Razer's expensive marketing department. Before we get into the other recommendations, I just wanted to take a moment to explain the following. In this video, we're focusing specifically on 16-inch and 14-inch gaming laptops. This is the reason why. The 16-inch form factor, I feel, offers the most immersive gaming experience while still being portable. The 14-inch form factor offers the most portability while still being playable. And if you do want a more immersive gaming experience for it, you can get an external monitor. With that said, let's continue. Best gaming laptop for most people. After testing all these different laptops, the best gaming laptop for most people is the Legion Slim 7 or 7i. The 7 has an AMD Zen 4 processor and the 7i Intel's 13th gen. We have both of them, of course. The AMD variant is our favorite. It is more comfortable to use, it feels significantly cooler to the touch in both gaming and everyday use, and although fan noise in gaming is similar, in casual use the AMD variant is almost always silent, whereas the Intel model, you can often hear the fans going. The AMD model also has longer battery life and is a lot cheaper. But unfortunately, our AMD model doesn't have advanced Optimus, which our Intel 4070 model does. So you'll need to restart the computer to use only the dedicated GPU for maximum frames. We don't think that's the end of the world though. But the AMD model is only available with an RTX 4060. This may be a limitation, as this laptop comes with a high resolution 2560 by 1600 fast refresh rate panel. In games that offer a stunning visual experience, the 4060 cannot make full use of this panel. However, this may not be as much of a hindrance as you think. For example, on the 4060 model in Cyberpunk with DLSS on, we were able to get 90 frames per second with ultra settings at the display's native resolution. And obviously, you could turn down those settings for more frames. But we also want to recommend a laptop with more powerful graphics. So. If you are willing to shell out a bit more money and can handle the extra heat and fan noise, we recommend the Intel model with the 4070. That laptop gives you around 20% extra gaming performance over the AMD model. Now that I've walked you through the difference between the AMD and Intel variants, let me explain why we recommend the Legion Slim 7 as the best laptop for most gamers. The Slim 7 is extremely portable. It feels premium, it has a comfortable keyboard, a good display, and when it comes to the AMD variant, solid battery life, comfortable temperatures, and it won't hurt your wallet all that much. Both variants come with 16 gig of memory that is soldered, but they do have an empty slot available. There are benefits to this approach, as you don't have to replace both sticks to upgrade to 32. You only have to buy one. Plus, with DDR5 memory, each stick is already dual channel, so you don't have the issues of older gaming laptops, where if you ran one stick, it would impact performance because it was in single channel. Since we're thorough though, we did upgrade these laptops with a second stick so that they ran in quad channel, and the performance difference was totally negligible. Compared to HP's Omen, the Omen has more powerful graphics, but it costs a lot more. And even though it has a supposedly more powerful HX CPU, it underperforms, and it isn't any faster than the lower H series processor in the Legion 7i. The HP screen also isn't as good, it's dim, and uses the older 16x9 aspect ratio. It also isn't as well built, and the front of the laptop is quite sharp, and it may cut into you. Compared to MSI Stealth 16 Studio, the Legion Slim 7 has a much more comfortable keyboard, it feels more premium, and it doesn't feel insanely hot while gaming. Best Budget Gaming Laptop Now, if you're looking for the best gaming experience on a tight budget, you should buy the Asus TUF A16. At the time of this review, it was on sale for $750 for the Radeon RX 7600S model, which by the way, performs a little better than the RTX 4050, and has more VRAM. I played games on this laptop and the experience was delightful. It didn't get that warm to the touch and it was pretty quiet for a gaming laptop. 
When we totaled our scores for this laptop, by the way, it beat laptops that cost three times as much. But the Tough A16 comes with AMD graphics, not Nvidia, so you do miss out on Nvidia's excellent DLSS, which makes a big difference. So. If you do want an RTX 4000 series laptop, you have to look elsewhere. Or go for an Asus TUF F series, which by the way, doesn't seem to be available in a 16 inch form factor. Now, you could get the Gigabyte G6, which does come with an RTX 4060, but it gets extremely loud while gaming. It feels very warm to the touch, the keyboard is unsatisfying to use, and its speakers are just terrible. It also has a horrific display with dreadful color accuracy and it doesn't have a MUX switch, so you just can't get the full performance out of the RTX 4060. You could buy the Legion Slim 516, but that laptop is a noticeable step back from the Slim 7. Its keyboard is less comfortable, its speakers are definitely worse, and its display options are dim, which is disappointing for a laptop that costs north of a thousand US dollars. Now, the other budget 16 inch laptop that we do recommend is the Acer Nitro 16. It costs a similar amount to the Legion 5 for a similar configuration, but the Acer feels extremely cool to the touch while gaming, the lowest of any laptop we've tested, its fan noise is a tad quieter than the Legion Slim 5, and it has a better display. It also has advanced Optimus. The only real issue with it is its size and weight, it's just not that portable. Student gamers, if you're a student who likes to game, the Legion Slim 7 with AMD is still a great option. It is cost effective, high quality, and it's very portable, at least for a large gaming laptop. Especially by the way, if you buy a small USB-C charger to take with you on days you just don't need the full performance out of the laptop. We've listed our favorite ones down below the video, so treat your new laptop to a smaller charger. But. If you want real portability, we tested all the 14 inch gaming laptops. Our detailed analysis is in two of our recent videos, but the skinny is this. The Asus G14 and Legion Slim 514 are the ones you should buy. The G14 has more powerful graphics options. It is more portable due to its compact size and lighter weight. Its display is great and it doesn't use PWM flickering to lower the brightness, which the Legion does. Its keyboard is substantially more comfortable and it has an empty memory slot for you to cheaply upgrade. The Legion Slim 514 on the other hand has a vibrant OLED display, its ports aren't so far down the laptop that plugging things into them could get in your way, and it feels noticeably cooler to the touch while gaming and performing everyday tasks. Programmers who game. If you're a programmer who loves to game, the best laptop for you is once again the Legion Slim 7 or 7i. As a coder, you're going to be looking at a large amount of small code on screen all day every day. The Legion 7s give you an option to upgrade to a higher resolution panel. This will make small text look less pixelated and sharper on the large 16 inch display. You do lose a little brightness with the upgrade, but 430 nits is totally fine. Plus, you want a very comfortable keyboard and those laptops have one. Also, as a software developer, you'll probably want portability. That way you can code in a variety of places. The Legion Slim 7s are as portable as they come for a high performance laptop with a large screen. Plus, the AMD version has decent battery life. And for coding, you definitely won't want to be distracted when you're in the zone by heat and fan noise. And as I said, the AMD model doesn't get that warm to the touch and it is quiet. Creators who game. If you're a creator who loves to game, in addition to a gaming laptop, you'll probably also want a color accurate 4K screen and an SD card reader. The Razer Blade 16 ticks all these boxes. It has a 4K screen, a color accurate one, it has a fast SD card reader, and it is extremely powerful. But honestly, for this use case, we feel you'd be much better off buying a top creator laptop instead. And the two we highly recommend are Lenovo's Slim Pro Nanite the 16 inch and the Asus ZenBook Pro 16X. The Pro Nanai goes up to an RTX 4060 and the ZenBook Pro 16 goes up to an RTX 4080. Both of these options have high refresh rate screens, they have great keyboards, they're extremely portable for the power they have, they have SD card readers, and they are substantially cheaper than the Blade 16. The ZenBook even has a MUX switch, but the Blade 16 still has its place. If money is no object and you must have the most performance and huge amounts of memory for your creative workloads, the Blade 16 is it. When it comes to the Omen Transcend, which is HP's gamer slash creator laptop, it just doesn't feel anywhere near as premium as the options we've already given you. 
Well, that's all for today, folks. Make sure to check out the deals and coupons that we've linked down below, so you save as much money as possible. If you like this video, you know what to do. Smash the like button, get subscribed, share it with your friends. The more the channel grows, the more content that we can create for you. Plus, as I always say, it makes my mother very proud. Till next time, go do something awesome with your day, and I will catch you later.